Hey guys, welcome back. So I created a community post asking you what video did you want to see next? And the majority of you voted for Real the Bread. Now, what is Real the Bread? How does Real the Bread work? Do you really need to use it? How does it affect your Kodi or your streaming APKs? Do you need to use a VPN with Real the Bread and so on and so forth? So in this video today, I'll be answering all of those questions and giving you real life examples on how Real the Bread can affect your streaming life. So with all of that being said, let's get started. Okay, so right from the top, what is Real the Bread? Now, Real the Bread is a premium service, which means it's something that you have to pay for. And it sits between you and a bunch of file servers or cyber lockers on the internet. Now these cyber lockers or these file hosts normally have a free tier and a pay tier. Now if you use a free tier, it normally means that you have limited speed. It means you normally have to fill out a capture. They may limit on what kind of files you can download, how many files you can download at the same time, how many files you can download from the same IP and lots of different limitation. Now obviously the pay tier doesn't have any of these restrictions. So you basically pay Real the Brid and they have these premium accounts on all these file lockers, which allows you to access the premium file servers without extra charges. All of the restrictions on the free tier, you're not gonna see that. So you're gonna get all of your stuff, wherever you're downloading, or wherever you're streaming at full speed. You're not gonna have to fill out any captures. There's not gonna be any restrictions on your IP address or where you're downloading from. All of those restrictions are removed for you and you can access all of your content at full speed. And basically that's what you're paying for. Now the other thing that Real Debrid can do, which a lot of people don't realize, is you can get it to download torrents for you. So if you do have a torrent file that you wanna download, instead of you downloading torrents yourself, you can paste that torrent link or that torrent file inside Real Debrid and they'll download the torrent for you. And once the torrent is downloaded, they'll give you a direct link to that file. So if you are a bit wary about downloading torrents, if you have signed up for Real Debrid, they can download the torrents for you. Okay, so let's just put this into real life. So let's just say I want to download something online. I've managed to find a file, which is this one here, on a file hosting site called rapidgator.net. Now, if I don't have Real Debrid, we can see here, I'll have to select the slow speed download. And that has this limitations where the download speed is gonna be limited. I can only download one file at a time. I can only download one file every two hours. And we can see some of the other limitations here. So if I've got no Real Debrid, I just have to click on slow download. And we can see now it gives us a countdown before our download even starts. So this is basically somebody trying to download something without using Real Debrid. Now if I just take the same link at the top here, go into Real Debrid, then we've got a download section here where you can basically paste in any link from any of these premium file hosts online. Let's just do that now. Now I can now click on unrestrict my link. And we can see here now we've got a direct link to download that file. We can click on that and we can see that starts downloading straight away at full speed. And we can see that's finished in a few seconds and we go back to our original site without Real Debrid. And here we can see now it's asking us to fill out this capture. So that's just a real life example that when you are trying to download something online, using Real Debrid will allow you to bypass these restrictions, bypass these captures and give you those downloads at full speed. Okay, so we now understand what Real Debrid is. Whereas you as a streamer can actually benefit from this service or really any popular APK or any of the current breed of APKs will give you Real Debrid support. All you need to do is go inside your application and there'll be a section normally in the settings allowing you to link your APK to Real Debrid. And as soon as you do that, the next time your APK searches for a movie or a TV show, you'll now get access to all of those premium file lockers and allow you to access that content at full speed. Similarly with Kodi, all of the popular Kodi add-ons, there will be a section inside settings where you can link your Kodi add-on to Real Debrid. And once again, when you do search for any content using that Kodi add-on, you'll get access to those premium file lockers. So really it's safe to say all of the popular APKs and the popular Kodi add-ons will have sections allowing you to link those to Real Debrid. And as soon as you do that, it will now open up access to all of those premium file lockers, giving you access to all of that content at full speed. So probably the first main benefit is just gonna be pure speed. So if you can just imagine if you have free file servers or free file hosts, because everybody and their friend and their friend's friend's friend are all gonna try and use them, they're always gonna be slow, they're always gonna be hammered, just so many people all trying to stream or download from the same file servers, and that's really gonna increase your chances of getting buffering or lag, all those kind of like problems. Now the Real Debrid, because it's a paid service, there's obviously gonna be less people using those tiers, which means you're gonna get faster access to those files, you're gonna get faster access to the streams, and things are just generally gonna work a lot faster for you. So that's probably the first main benefit. 
On top of that, in terms of content, the free service will generally give you lower quality, low resolution content compared to the real debris stuff. So if you're looking for 1080p or 4K, or especially if you're looking for high quality audio content, that kind of content only exists on the premium tiers that you can access with Real Debridge. So if you are looking for better quality, higher quality content, then definitely for sure you have to go via the Real Debridge route. And lastly, I'll just say the sheer number of working links. So if you do use a Kodi add-on or a certain APK without Real Debridge, you may get a certain number of links. But definitely with the Real Debridge on both your Kodi add-on and your APKs, you'll get a lot more working links. Okay, so this is the one that everybody was asking, which is, do you need to use a VPN when using Real Debrid? Now, if you just appreciate that when you are using Real Debrid on your APK or your Kodi add-on, those applications or those add-ons are connecting to Real Debrid servers first, then from those servers, Real Debrid is now making a connection to those different file hosts, and either they are downloading a content for you or they're streaming the content to you. So now if my ISP were to monitor my traffic, all they can just see is that Tech Doctor was making a connection to Real Debrid, and that's all they can see. All the stuff that happens at Real Debrid, where Real Debrid are now downloading content or streaming content, they can't actually see that. The only thing you have to make sure is that in your Real Debrid settings, there is actually a section which says here, do you want to use a normal port to talk to Real Debrid, or do you want to use a secured port? So if you are using secured, it's just like when you're doing your banking applications, because that traffic is encrypted, that means your ISP can't see what you're doing. So your connection to Real Debrid is now encrypted. They can't see what you're doing at all. So just double check and make sure you have got the setting enabled in Real Debrid. That means your ISP can't see what you're doing when you're communicating to the Real Debrid servers. Now, I would just like to mention one other thing regarding this. And when I looked into the privacy policy of Real Debrid, this is what I saw. We can see here that they do actually log your IP address, which basically means that on the real debrid servers, they do know that it was the tech doctor IP address that was making a connection before I was downloading something or streaming something. They do have that record. On top of that, in terms of data logging, we can see it does say here that file links that users download are stored in a database for legal concern and for internal use. That means, so we can see that they are keeping a log of which IP addresses are connecting in and which links are actually being accessed. And for legal reasons, they do say they do keep that for one year. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that if you do decide to use this. On top of that, we can see here that the company is actually based out of France. So because it does kind of like fall in Europe and you have the European laws on streaming and everything else, this is probably the main reason why people still prefer to use a VPN when using Real Debrid. So yes, they do want to have all of the benefits of accessing premium content at full speed. But at the same time, because of the data logging, they just feel a bit safer when using a VPN because they know the IP is safe. Okay, so lastly, should I get Real Debrid? Now, I think that's really a question that you can only answer yourself. Um, let's just say there's three types of people in this scenario. So the first person is as somebody who just doesn't pay for anything. He just has to have everything 100% free and he doesn't want to pay anything. Now, if that's you, then Real Debrid is definitely not for you because obviously it's a paid service. Person number two is somebody who's actually happy with what he's getting from his current APKs and his current Kodi add-ons. He's happy with the amount of streams he can find. He's happy with the quality. He's happy with just the number of links that are working. So if that's you, then again, there's no point in you paying extra money to try out Real Debrid. Now, the last person is the person of interest. Now, this person is not happy with the amount of links he's getting in his Kodi add-on or his APKs. He's definitely not happy with the quality of the streams because all he's seeing is either 480p or 720p. He wants to see that full 1080p content or even 4K content. On top of that, he really likes high quality audio. So things with like Dolby Digital 5.1, he wants to see more content like that. Now, lastly, this person is really fed up with buffering and slow performing streams. Now, this person should definitely give Real Debrid a go, mainly because we can see Real Debrid will give you those fast links, will give you the high quality content and give you a lot more working links. On top of that, only cost a couple of dollars and you can try it out. There's no long contracts. You can give it a go and if you don't like it, you can just cancel it. So if you are that last person who wants to see better quality links, better quality content, then definitely do give it a go. And I'll leave a link in the description if you want to do that. Hey, you made it to the last slide. So many thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate your support. If you did find the video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then definitely do subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm doing another giveaway for the month of September for the GGTV Android TV box. If you do want to have a chance of winning that, I'll leave a link in the video description. On top of that, we are nearing the big 100K guys, which is just unbelievable. And once again, 
I do want to do a special giveaway for that big number. So I know lots of you are asking for Nvidia Shields, but once again, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what the ideal prize will be. I think somebody else was saying maybe we could do a couple of giveaways like you know, a couple of fire sticks or a couple of Android boxes. That way we can have more winners than just one big winner. But again, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks. Thanks again for watching, guys. Oh, and if you're interested in a VPN, if you click on that link on the bottom left, you'll get a great 46% discount. If you are worried about your privacy and you want to stay safe online, I do recommend you check out a VPN. Thanks again, guys. See you on the next one.